Hey everybody, in today's video, we're gonna talk about two of the wheelbases that the Sprinter van comes in. So the Sprinter van actually comes in three different size wheelbases, the 144 wheelbase, the 170 wheelbase, and the 170 extended wheelbase. In this video, we're gonna talk about the 144 versus the 170, but we do have another video on the 170 versus the 170 extended. So let's jump right in. Now we're going to talk about the 144 and this is 144 that just got dropped off for one of our clients. It's actually the very first 144 that we're going to build out. So I'm really excited about it. We're going to do a modified beach house layout. So we're actually still going to fit our classic bathroom design with the wet bath and the toilet hot water heater, all that jazz in this shorter 144. The client is a solo male who's traveling around, is really interested in night photography and astrology. And so for him, this is a great option because he is just a solo guy traveling. He doesn't need a ton of space. He's gonna be up in the Bay Area parking quite a bit. So the shorter length is gonna make it easier for him to find parking spots to parallel park in. So the 144 total from bumper to bumper is 19 and a half feet. And on the inside, you've got about 10 and a half feet of buildable space in the cargo area. So with 10 and a half feet of buildable space in the back of the van, it really does make it an ideal van for solo travelers or couples who want to travel really just on the weekend. You're not going to be full timing it, but you want something quick you can jump into to go hike, go backpack, or just go on shorter road trips. This is a 170 van that we're getting ready to convert. It's actually a 2018. We have a crazy bird out apparently. It's a 2018. 170 four by four van so really excited to convert this out some quick stats for you about the 170 sprinter from bumper to bumper it is 22 feet 10 inches long and the interior cargo space is 14 feet long so that obviously gives you a little bit more space than the 144 approximately three and a half feet on the inside so it makes a pretty big difference if you have a partner you know you're going to do van life with or if you want to hit the road with your kids having that extra space really makes it way more comfortable for multiple people in the van now in terms of parking i feel like there's a common misconception that 170s are a lot harder to drive a lot harder to park that you're going to have to find a really big parking spot and all that kind of stuff and speaking from experience of living in a 170 Sprinter for almost two years, we had no issues at all with parking or anything like that. It's still easily parallel parks. Yes, you're gonna need a little bit longer of a parallel parking spot, but it usually does still fit in a normal parking space as long as you pull all the way in. You might have to park a little bit further away from the front of the store, but walking is great for you so you get that extra exercise anyway. One other benefit of the 170 Sprinter, if you've seen our van conversions before, you know that we love putting in a fully enclosed bathroom with a toilet and a shower. And that is one of the perks of having the longer wheelbase. You're able to fit that in a little bit easier and still have all the amenities like a full kitchen, closet, dresser, big bed, and just really not having to sacrifice on that space. If you are interested in living van life, you probably have a ton of questions and aren't really sure where to start. Trust us, we were in the same position. And we've had over 75 phone calls with people who are interested in having us build out their van. And based on those phone calls, there's a lot of common questions and issues that keep coming up. So we have put together a van starter guide, which is designed to really give you a leg up on getting your van designed and starting your build the right way. If you're interested in that, there's a link down below that you can click to buy that right now. We really hope that it helps you get on the road faster. That's one of our major goals. We wanna help as many people get into van life who are serious about this as possible and do it the right way and avoid those common mistakes that a lot of people have on their very first build. So we really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or comments or other content that you'd love to see from us, drop it in the comments down below. Until next time, see you guys later.